am Nidhi Pundir and I am Director at HCL Foundation. I think entrepreneurship as such in India is on rise now and we've had several women participants coming up. Uh, at HCL Foundation we make a special effort towards gender inclusion and gender transformative approaches as we call it. So most of the work that we do, we apply a gender lens to it wherein we would get into the depth of whether the work is gender neutral, is it gender sensitive or is it truly gender transformative. By being gender transformative, I mean it's beyond equality. It is who is competent to rise and who is capable to rise reaches that level and the opportunities for both men and women, girls and boys to be equal. And that's where Itzil Foundation takes a very special, I would say, due diligence into the work that the NGO partners do, where our funds go, our direct implementation. Also, it starts at home with our teams being very inclusive, uh, as well as growth opportunity being extremely gender transformative. In the rural areas, I think something which has worked phenomenally well uh, getting the women into the mainstream entrepreneurship is uh, the community-based organizations and the self-help groups as we call them. Financial inclusion is a kind of a technique where we work on the concept of saving. So most of the women uh, in rural areas, also in urban communities where they are living in dis disadvantaged sections, the control on money as such is quite weak. So we start working with women on understanding the power of money and why it's important for them to save bit by bit and have a say in decision making. And that's where the whole spirit of entrepreneurship starts coming into, I would say, the into the picture. Once they get that, that they can save as well as they can decide. What happens is if the woman is a farmer, normally her work goes unnoticed, it goes unpaid. It is not, never given credit for, for the kind of labor she puts in. So it's about understanding and it all starts with dignity at home. We also talk to the men folks out there that if, if the family is raising X income from farming, it's not without the labor that the female at home is putting in or the girl child at home is putting in. And that's something, and be it other trades also, be it carpet weaving or be it, you know, a handicraft or, uh, you know, beekeeping. And we have several examples where uh, women participation is where we focus our programs. There's a special program called My Worth that we run where we work with adolescent girls and boys uh, on uh, girls to be able to realize their potential right from the childhood and we inculcate soft skills in them of time management, of resource mapping, resource management, understanding your uh, environment, how to protect yourselves. And that's where I think the whole entrepreneurship concept uh, is going quite well with women uh, community partners as we call them. Uh, in rural setups, we have uh, examples of farmer cooperatives, uh, women-led farmer cooperatives where they have raised their income levels significantly up to 30, 40, 50 percent. We have an uh, example, I think one big example I would like to give you from Srijan uh, Foundation, which was our HCL Grant 2019 recipient, where they have this whole concept of Pashu Sakhis and Krishi Sakhis. And Krishi Sakhi uh, are actually women who are trained by Srijan Foundation, the HCL Grant, under the HCL Grant program, wherein they are trained to become professional farmers. They're anyways farming and they're anyways, you know, contributing through their labor. But then how is it that they can become experts on what kind of organic, uh, uh, you know, uh, the whole organic farming concept, the seed conservation concept, seed banking concept, and that has really led them to become uh, farm, professional farmers and now they go out and they train men farmers. Mm -hmm. 
I think with Women's Day around the corner, my message would be that it's very important, it's critical that be it rural areas or urban areas, women form the equal uh, part of our demography, 1.3 uh, billion demographic dividend that India has. Uh, women are very much 50% and that worth needs to be realized and that can only happen when non-government organizations, government partners, corporate partners walk into the rural communities, work in close partnership and understand uh, their worth, their value and the contribution that they make and more than that make them realize that they are important and exact in entrepreneurship starts from there. Um, I don't think now is the era where we need to say we need to empower women. I think now is the era that empowered women are setting examples already. India has uh, the maximum, India has the maximum contribution in giving the world uh, women pilots. Uh, let's celebrate our girls, let's celebrate our women, let's start talking about the uh, you know the, the the kind of achievements they have made and and the game is changing uh, very much so I wish everyone a happy International Women's Day and worth for both girls and boys on this very important day.